guys, we're seeing today the Victini Dungeon Walkthrough. Today we are seeing these Pokemons and the possible uses that we can give them on the dungeon, even on the normal rooms and in the final boss room. The first step that we have to do is to register. Here we have the party manager. The person that is going to be the leader creates the group can be a random party or a guide party. Both are okay as long as you are able to communicate. You can use a call in this card, you can use a chat in game, even create a um, customized chat. So the leader has to carry the twin dragon orbs. If that person does not have at least one of those, uh, they won't be able to get in. Not all the items are allowed to be carrying on the team, so be careful with that. And once everything is ready, you can just go down the stairs. After passing the checkpoint, you will go to the kitchen right away. In this place, you will see in the image, I pointed some items that have like a ring over them. This means they have items, so interact with them. The notes over there gives you the hints of what you have to look for, among them the berries and uh, those berries have to be carried by your own like citrus, or and in others and you just have to collect all the items in between these three rooms the left one which is where I'm right now the middle one where we were and the right one that is a garden here in the left room we will be back because of the garden so let's move now to the right room um, but before here on the kitchen we have to defeat our first star why the first star me because we have to defeat seven of them each of the team has to do it the first time um, later on, if you missed one, um, you will see that you won't be able to get Victini. So try to get them all on the first run. If you miss one, you can go back later. But it's a plane. You will see here in the image, I pointed with a circle the position of the Sarmi. After that, you can see also that you can get items in here. And once you get all the items, you or at least one person in the kitchen has to interact with the stove and prepare the recipe. Once that is done, we can go to the first garden. If by any chance you don't see the Pokemons that are part of the garden, you can interact with the table that has shiny uh, dust, let's say, and then go on. Um, the leader has to interact with the statue that I didn't say, um, and then we can go to the middle of the kitchen room and go to the checkpoint and go down to the library in this part as you can see there are pokemon so when you go down the stairs move one step to the left or to the right to avoid being caught by a honnet do you see this book this book tells you a passage this passage is a code which you have to be careful all this sprinkle of uh, shiny dust let's say let's call it like that uh, gives you a page number and a phrase that phrase contains a word that is capital letters like this one page eight behind so you take notes or something to recall or remember all these pages and words take notes of those that are part of the passage on the book if the book if the book said something that lies on the right side, something you are going to look for lies, right, and stuff. Remember to use just the important words, not words like add, some. And with the numbers, you decipher a code. Once you have a code of nine numbers, you will be able to open one of six doors that are in the place. You will see in my video the locations of those places. It's basically two on the corners above, two on the corners below, and two in the middle. So look at the places in my um, uh, video and you will be able to look at them later on. Just be careful to not be caught um, by the Pokemon Chandler, Crowbat, Golurk because they are a pain 
Um, basically, that's the idea of the dungeon. I didn't mention so far, but try to not use your items like revivals um, because you will need them probably at the end. Of course, if it's your first run, it's okay because you have to be killing Starmies and you probably will be facing all the Pokemons. I did this sometimes before being able to reach the end, so it's normal. When you are on the doors, try to input the right number. Be careful, if something is wrong, it will not work. Once you get the door and the code, you will not receive like the door doesn't budge, just empty message. It means that the door is unlocked and you will be able to walk through it and see a blue diamond. When you click it, it will take you to an altar library. Um, then you will have to go through it and try to reach the stairs on the left side that were not able to be reached before but in this room you will see two sermons more the third one is um below on this corner near the statue as you can see and the other one is where the guard door is in the middle if you saw the notes and everything you see you could remember a guard door in the upper part of the library you have to go there and defeat it um once that is done you just have to go on with going to the stairs so let's take a look here we don't have a checkpoint so be careful um you have to divide the team the first person is going to keep on the this one removes the smoke and the blue lever removes the electricity barrier Mm, so help the first person that is going to move to the lever uh, blue, the blue lever, because that person has to go all the way to the left, up, not below, because the below one doesn't work too much, I would say. But going to the one that is near the statue on the left is going to help. Be careful, there is a galate and it can kill you. Um. What's the idea here? Well, we have a Sarmi in this room, so others have to go to the right area of the um, room and defeat the Sarmi. So these two people on the levers are going to help them to move around. That chin is key here, I would say, so be careful. Once everyone defeats the Sarmi, they will see some status. So you just have to move to them there are four one below the first lever which you can see right now the one that is with the person on the blue lever and two more one near the army and one below that is near acrobat so be careful there i'm going to show the positions of those other two um another thing is that you have to interact the first message to the statue this is going to happen with other levers later on um so you, ask, you do one click, all the team does one click, and then one of the team, just one person has to continue doing the second click. This is going to activate the status and you will be able to face the second guardian on the middle of the room. You can count as a team and try to unlock it like simultaneously. Uh, we did that, it worked. It's hard, I know. But it has happened to me that we click one time and the second person clicks the next step and it doesn't budge. So if you do it that way, uh, like simultaneously, it may work too. So have it in mind. Okay, just recapping here, this is the statue uh, with the star here. So you defeat it, don't forget it, and then do the part of the status as I explained already, and go to defeat the garden. 
I guess that's it in this part and then you can go to the next checkpoint. Don't forget with every guardian that you have to interact with the main guardian if you don't fight uh, with the Pokemons because if not you will not see the option to continue or at least sometimes just to um, make it work sometimes it's better to do it that way. In this section you can help yourself, trade stuff with your mates if you need it so take your time, tuck it and go on. Now here we have six levers, three on left, three on right. We have two notes on the button run uh, on the tables. The first one on the left is the one that you will start. It says West Sector and it was always said different as, I, as you are seeing on the image. It's different options, but usually two levers on one side, two color of those levers. And it says the left and the rightmost is if it's included or not. What does it mean with the leftmost and rightmost? You have six levers. The leftmost is the total left one, and the rightmost is the total right one, not just in the group of three. Have that in mind. Um, try different options as long as it comes makes coincidence with the instructions. The instruction of the west sector opens a door on the left. The instruction of the east sector opens the door on the east. West is left, east is right, just in case. The west one will open uh, the door and you will be able to find a black lever that is mostly gray with a black circle I would say like the sphere um, so just one of the team not in my case that we went all together we were discovering the case already there um, just one person has to go maybe two to help him defeat in the Pokemons but we will need the other three people at least on the middle to do the part of the levers in the east if all of you arrange that perfectly, you will be able to open the la uh, other door that is on the right. Once we go to the right room, we will see the Starmie number 6 that is above us. Go there near the crowbar and you will defeat. After that, all you have to do is go down and move like in 6 and reach the stairs on the right. Be careful with the crowbar and when you go down the stairs, there is going to be a Ponya or a Bishop, so just move immediately to one side and you will be safe. And then you keep moving. As said, be careful going down the stairs so you don't fight the ponyard and then you will reach the next room. In this part you will see the other garden, that is the third one, and the last starmy. The last starmy is near the scorpi, uh, going down to the left. You will see it there on the video pointed. I don't know why do I call it a scurrope, it's a drop-in, but it's fine, you understand. After that, you will go down and defeat the next guardian. Then we see the final checkpoint. 
do hair correct is the last checkpoint so try to heal yourself and your team and then go and the final room you have to divide the team into what you are going to do and what you are able to do communication is really important divide who is going to defeat which guardian and who is going to defeat the second according to what you have on your team you can defeat the pokemons near the guardians and then the guardian to make it weaker of course and this part doesn't have to be like simultaneously just try to not wait too much in order to uh, let your partner defeat Sekram on time before the guardians respawn. After that is done you will see these uh, electric and fire barriers appearing. If you touch them or if they touch you, you are going to lose a little HP so be careful if you don't have like more potions or something. Mm, the idea here is that you are going to defeat the Kyrams. The, the one near the electric barriers is physical, the one near the fire one is special. With the special one we are using Blissey, Chansey or something that can toxic and cure itself. And with the electric one or the physical we are using Wobbuffet Sash. There are other options like a Loma Mola or Torkoal I hear with Toxic Tea, but I don't know how that works too good. But at the end, do your best. I recommend Wall of Ed with the physical. Once that is done, you have 10 seconds at least or something similar to defeat Big Tini, which is in the middle and the barrier will disappear. Sometimes it doesn't, so try to trigger it by interacting to it, running around and stuff, so it disappears. If you don't have all the Starmies, you will see what you see, that is Big Tini is surrounded with the Starmies, so you have to go back. You can do it with the escape ropes that you receive, and after that you can just go out the dungeon. Um, and re collect everything that is in there, like the Pokemons, even the wild Pokemon that appears, it's catchable, so you can get it. And Victini will just leave the area uh, because we free it. So now how to get it? Well, go for your sinkable Pokemon and then go to the church and you will see Victini there that is waiting for you and you can catch it. So basically that's what you have to do here guys. About records and everything is going to be another video but so far this is what you have to do to complete Victini Kes in Pro. This is a permanent quest, don't forget it, it's going to keep here even if summer event disappears because it's in a different map. What is not going to be kept is the skin because as usual it's going to disappear with the end of the event. Maybe next year it's going to be here and thanks to everyone who helped me around. See you!